going to go ahead and have the last part of our show tonight with the final scene at Hall Manor. Then we're going to jump into the awards. So here we go, guys. Hello and greetings once again on this stormy night. Now, I know tonight has been stressful, but I think I can put all of your minds at ease as I know who the killer is. Well, all for the detective misdemeanor. Yeah, come on. Spell it. We need to know. Well, the facts of the case are this. Hall was most likely killed with antifuse, which takes one to three days to kill someone. So that means the killer would have had to have been here at least one to three days before this here party. Now, the killer has to have motive, means, and, well, time. So, who is it? Well, at first I thought it was you, Mr. Stewie Segway. Mr. Paul had stopped performing comedy with you, but... And you could have been upset about that. You, Mr. Scott, you could have been you, but... I know it was neither of you because you cared too much about your relationship with each other to so have killed someone. Booyah! Booyah. 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 <laughs> and then I thought about Miss Alice. She had all the motive. After all, Mr. Hall had stolen one of her songs. But you became famous anyway, so it didn't work. Paul just knew I was talented. There's no shame in knowing that. Then I thought about Mr. Murdery Man over here, Kevin Fulbright. I thought I could have been you because you're scary. But I know it wasn't you, because you just had an obsession with murder. Not because you like to cause it, because you like to solve it. Then I thought about Mr. Mr. Wiley Harvey. Obviously, you were not running because you don't even know what's going on. You're just here. <laughs> and then I thought about Jim Cruz, you have all the motive. Refusing to cast you in a role you deserve, a role that was written for you. But, as you said, you were too busy filming Kubrick's next film. What can I say about that? A popular guy. And then, it's a very authentic. You love drama, but I can't think of any other word besides that to go I know your life is going to cost killing someone. So it couldn't have been you. I was just so devastated. I was just trying to go. <laughs> uh, that's That's where you're wrong. The killer is someone that hid under our noses the whole time. Someone that we never would have suspected. The killer is Mr. Aaron Hall. <laughs> Are you crazy? You thought you could cover up your tracks, Mr. Paul. Detective Mr. Meters took you away. What? But you are crazy! Why would you think I would kill Hall? Well, here's the thing. You did, Mr. Hall. Let me run it through. Aaron Hall, the former best friend to Aaron Hall. You were the queen of mine, while Mr. Hall was the business mind. We know from Miss Dallas that Hall stole the works of others. And I know that he did the same to you. All the stuff you made, all the scripts you wrote, the films you made, not made by A. Aaron Hall, but instead made by E. Aaron Hall. You faded into obscurity. Hall got more famous stealing your scripts. You were swimming in student debt, working at a chemical factory. You hit rock bottom. As I said with Mr. Segway, we all do crazy things when we hit rock bottom. You get an invitation from Mr. Hall. Anger builds up inside you. He stole it all from you, everything, your film, your scripts. What if I killed Hall and you began to think? What if I gave him what exactly he deserved? You form a plan. You make your way up to Hall Manor. Days before you were even supposed to get here. And then, you and Hall talk in private. You scold him for taking everything from you and demand credit. He tells you to relax, have a drink. You pour the antifreeze into his drink. You fake your gave him so he wouldn't suspect you, but you know he would be dead anyway, once three days. 
Paul had stolen everything from you, but he had to pay. You have not the truth. Ah, oh, that's where you were wrong. Because you had a backup plan for if the Antichrist didn't work. What you doing? How could you? Yeah, we're friends. How did you do this? Paul took everything from me! He stole my entire life! This should be my making nothing! Aaron, I know you're jealous. But killing Aaron? <laughs> jealous?
Meritorious Man! Thank you guys for your show. Come on down, Meritorious Man. We got a few probably in the stand still. So there was, you know, there's a lot of hands on all these films, so if you were part of it, come on down. Enjoy the spotlight. Take some pictures. Get your award. will be released. I'm told it will be released, this trailer. Uh, we had a full, it was like 30 minute short film, but we just couldn't fit it into this whole program tonight. So uh, we went with the, the trailer and man, it was good. So great job, you guys. So proud of you. Uh, moving on, you guys. Yeah. All right, the uh, best comedy, and the best comedy award goes to the last chip. categories and maybe a little shorter than others um, and so it's always a fun one uh, and the sharpest tool in the shed kind of comes from uh, the classroom that I teach in they call it Hall's Garage so it's kind of a fun way to have fun and create a category all right so the sharpest tool in the shed award goes to passion Uh, 
Creepiest horror film we've shown, and uh, it fit perfect. So great job, you guys. Creep me out. All right, next one. Ooh, the back best music video. The best music video award tonight goes to Roses. Drama goes to the Best Drama Award goes to The Art of Insanity. works is uh, in video club students get to nominate certain uh, well filmmakers editors cinematographers actors um, and so they nominate and those are the nominations and you got to vote tonight so best supporting actor goes to Xander Ramsey. Uh, uh, pictures, pictures. And it, it's been a running joke all year long that Xander Ramsey was going to win Best Supporting Actor this year because he won it last year. And he's been uh, all over. Uh, social media trying to get people to vote for him. So he did a good job. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, great job, Dan. Great job. That was awesome. <clears throat> All right. Pictures. Let's face the audience. <laughs> Moving on to Best Actor. Best Actor of the Night. Ooh. All right.
dig. <laughs> All right. Next category here. Oh, Lily's got to go there. Do a jig and go to the next category. Ooh, best editor. Best editor award goes to. Wyatt Hervey in the art of insanity. Uh, you're going to need a bigger mantle, I think. Great job, Wyatt. All right, best cinematography. This one's a tough one, because you know, there's just so many hands on those cameras, but there's always the person that's directing that camera, okay? And that's the person we've been looking at on for this particular award. And this award goes to Yamil Sanchez and Ashley. And Yamil was also sick and could not make it. He sends his best, and we do as well. So we'll give that to him in class. Ooh, all right, best director. The best director award goes to. Wyatt Hervey. The last chip. The last chip. Man. <laughs> Good job, Wyatt. Once again. Ooh. Best Film of the Night Award. This is the big one right here. Best Film of the Night. Lots of films. There was lots of nominees, lots of I think this one, I think that one in our video club meetings, but uh Oh jeez. We have a three-way tie. I think we've had ties in the past, but a three-way tie? Man, looks like we're gonna have a lot of kids up here. So three-way tie with Mick Ronald. The Last Chip, and Oh No! I, I guess we're going to be printing more awards. Eli, you better get that 3D printer warmed up. There you go. Pictures, pictures, lots of pictures. All right, I know we have reached our time limit and we are way over at this point. So, uh, we'll take a couple more pictures. If I could just get all of Video Club, all the seniors get up here. Let's take a picture with everybody. If you could somewhere maybe put up the, there we go. Yeah, you guys are smart. <laughs>